The core of the symposium is really about imagining what post-pandemic politics could be, not sort of like returning <laughs> to notions of the before times or how things used to be. Rethinking sort of what inequality or equality could look like, uh, rethinking, you know, notions of race, class, geopolitics, and imagining something else, um, something better. At the time that we started planning the conference, uh, we were doing theme planning and uh, brainstorming on what the conference should be about. And as we were planning out theme ideas, uh, the pandemic started to hit. And then everything changed very quickly. The process was very um, digital. It was very much, um, very much took place over screens um, due to the situation. Um, a lot of it was reimagining what a conference um, should be or what the goals of a conference should be during a pandemic. So as you can imagine, there were also a number of world events uh, which we were navigating at the same time as planning. I'm filming this interview with you from Beirut, which is where I have been for the last year all during the conference prep. And um, during one of our uh, weekly meetings, um, an explosion happened in the capital of Beirut. It was um, a really scary moment and I remember sort of like <laughs> running around my house and sort of slamming the laptop shut, but hearing um, Karg fellows asking me if I was okay. We basically witnessed uh, that from the screen and of course that was very hard and it's just one example of the many things that people around the world have been facing this past year. Thinking about anything to do with things that seem a little vague like scholarship or theorizing about <laughs> change <laughs> when things are happening right outside uh, felt a little like out of touch uh, for a while. When we started to think about the theme of the conference, the pandemic was just starting to happen. So it was kind of unavoidable to us to think of all the disparities that we were seeing. Like when we're talking about geopolitics, um, the group at CARG is mostly made up of people from lots of different places. So talking about geopolitics isn't something really vague. I think this was a moment of really thinking about what conferences are for. When we were setting the schedule for this conference, we had to account for our participants being located, um, you know, across a 13 hour time span. And I think that really reflects the, the range of work that we were able to attract and the wealth of global experiences that our participants, um, you know, both represent in terms of their um, scholarly life as well as their um, research interests. I think that this event is also allowing, allowing us to learn more about how to make international connections when you are far away and distance. And that can be really hard in a conference. Uh, so we're hoping to sort of bring these people from different institutions, different places globally, um, and just make it feel more intimate. We want it to be more than just a conference where people come and present their work. It's meant to be a space where people can start to build a network for global communication. I really hope that we can have an engaging space, a warm virtual space that can help us feel closer and stay connected after the event happens.